It's Nick O'Neill, aka Nifty Nick, and I'm standing here at Super Chief Gallery in New York City, just south of Washington Square Park, where there's the first in-person NFT gallery. So I'm here with Edward Zipka. Great to meet you, and uh, thanks for having us. What is this gallery? How did you get started? And uh, what brought you or got you involved in NFTs? Sure. Well, this is Super Chief Gallery NFT. This is the first physical NFT gallery space in the world. And we're doing this to support the NFT sphere. We want to be able to show people what it looks like when they're the collector that wants to see it on their wall at home. We want to show it the way that the artist intended to show it 4K, 60 FPS, really like show the high resolution version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you find out about NFTs and what triggered you to actually like take the next step? Well, we've had a gallery that was dedicated to digital art back in 2016 in Soho. And we, you know, there really wasn't a way to monetize it back then, but we really wanted to include those artists and that perspective like in the arts community and show that it's part of the culture. And we didn't want the money to be uh, an indicator on whether we gave a shit or not, you know? Like we really wanted to push it. Yeah. So we, we did and we just kept staying involved and including them in shows and finding ways to, uh, to keep the relationships alive betting on the future, assuming that there'd be some point in time where they'd be accepted into the, the mainstream traditional art world. Got it. So you, th this isn't like you just found out about NFTs, you've been following this for a while. Yeah, absolutely. We've had long relationships with digital artists and that, um, that have been like really just killing it. See, I think in 2019 is when we started talking to Beeple about doing like the first physical shows for him. And those were scheduled for 2020 before the entire year got canceled. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so we were watching, we had front row seats when he did the 3.5 million in that one weekend and got to like really uh, put NFTs on the map. So I think there's 300 artists that are yeah, featured yeah. here. Were they all uh, existing relationships or you decided to expand and check out people that are in the broader NFT space at the moment? I'd say it's about 90% artists that we already have relationships with. And then this was just a really fun excuse to kind of expand a little bit and welcome some new voices in. But for the most part, these are artists that uh, I'd say 70% of them are traditional artists that have never been in the NFT sphere. And then 30% overall that have like really strong digital artists that have been killing it out with NFTs. So you decided to host this gallery in New York City, which has been a pretty hard hit. As you, you just said, 2020 was canceled essentially. Uh, what triggered you to host this now? And what are your thoughts in general on, I'd say, New York City, city and galleries? Oh, I mean, the time was now because it was clear that this was uh, an essential thing that need, NFTs are an essential thing that need to be supported and uh, outreach needs to be done because they provide artist royalties. More than anything, the fact that this system has royalties built in for artists, so they get their 10% every time that piece is resold. That's that's something that needed uh, the traditional art world to first of all pay attention to it, and then really bringing them to that was really important. Being physical was like, you know, people wanted to know what it looked like when they bought it, so we figured we'd show them what it looks like when they buy it. And then also, it was pretty cool to have the opportunity to open the first one in the world. What do you think the role of is for galleries moving forward at it, as this uh, space continues to expand? Oh, I think galleries will be joining in and, you know, very popular galleries will continue to uh, evolve and pivot and include NFTs in their, their oeuvre, you know, but I don't know if they're going to have a singular gallery that's dedicated to it. I think I know that everybody's going to get involved because the best galleries have, you know, it's relationships they have with artists, it's a vision for the work that they want to push. So I think as long as there's an opportunity for people to like champion for a vision or get behind an artist that they already have a relationship with, there'll be a need for galleries and curators and just, yeah, it's about presenting that work and having somebody care about it. Do you have any plans or do you have any interest in sort of the virtual world of galleries that seems to be really overlapping with a lot of this NFT stuff and inspired by it, I'd say, almost like Ready Player One and some of that other stuff seems to really heavily influence this. Do you uh, have any plans for that or are you looking into that at all? Yeah, definitely. We're thinking in the fall to go cross-platform and Decentraland and the other ones, I'm tired. Cryptovoxels. Cryptovoxels, absolutely. Yeah. They're all steps towards the metaverse, you know, and basically we want to be present throughout the same way that we would have a gallery in New York and we have a gallery in Los Angeles and another one in Miami, we would want one in every one of these terrains as well. These universes matter.
are these uh, pieces going to be sold in Ethereum or some other uh, virtual currency? Oh, it's in Ethereum? Yeah, in Ethereum. And really it's about, it's about people's personal decisions on how they want to have their money. I think like it's good to have a lot of eggs in a lot of different baskets yeah. because everything is volatile and everything is very new. Yeah. But I think in the, uh, in the grand scheme of things, betting on the future seems wise. If someone wants to check out the artist and maybe purchase uh, a piece for their own collection, how can they do that? They go online to superchiefgallerynft.com and everything's right there. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today and uh, let us, letting us check out the gallery. Thanks, so much. Thanks again for checking out my interview with Ed from Super Chief. Remember, if you're interested in additional NFT related content, click subscribe below. Don't forget to like this video. And thanks again for watching. Peace.